This is the overview for the FVI-12 whole home tankless water heater. Now to save on time, I've already removed the front cover. To do so, you remove these two screws located here at the bottom and these two screws located here at the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to point out all the individual components of the machine and then I'm going to explain how it works. Starting here on the right, you've got the display, the ignition pack, your gas water valve assembly, this knob controls the water flow, this knob controls the gas flow, your gas solenoid, your outlet water temperature sensor, your flame sensor and ignition pins, your flame sensor is located here in the back, ignition pins here in the front, there's a second set located on the other side, your fan assembly, your control pack, your vacuum switch, and your overtemp sensor. Now how the unit works is water flows into the inlet, which in turn pushes on a plunger and activates the micro switch. Now the micro switch sends out a signal to three separate areas. It sends a signal out to the fan to engage to start pulling air up through the burners. It sends a signal out to the ignition pack to start igniting. And it sends a signal to the solenoid to open and allow the gas to flow up and through. Once that's done and the burners are lit, the flame sensor takes over. Now, if the flame sensor detects that there's a flame, it'll stop the ignition process. If it doesn't detect that there's a flame, it'll continue to ignite until a flame is present. Last, your overtemp sensor. Your overtemp sensor basically is like a fail-safe. If the water temperature exceeds a value that is too much for the machine to handle, it'll go ahead and shut the unit down to prevent any damage from occurring. And this concludes the overview for the FVI-12 whole home tankless water heater.